I want to say thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and Twitch subscribers. If you want to help out the channel, support me on Patreon at Crimson60620 and on Twitch at Crimson60. Thank you for your support and please enjoy the video. We gotta watch a a, a fucking um, Jubilee video. And yeah, I'm I'm salty for Joe. They should have let this man actually be one one of their panels. But let's go. Oh, that was awkward. Enjoy, enjoy the episode. <laughs> Obama was a representation of something important. Obama didn't do anything but an abomination. I think I remember seeing this shit. Oh my god. Oh, I, oh, 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 I remember this chick. Wait, how old is this video? How old is this video? How old is this video? I think I may have did this video. Oh, 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 let me actually look at my playlist. Hold on, guys. Let me look at my playlist. Let me look. I won't look. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Please. Please. Please, please. Oh God. I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't. I just remember seeing this crazy chick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh god. This is going to be fun. To us. To this whole nation. Yo, I. <laughs> Oh God, let's go. What's the biggest misconception black liberals have about you? That we are self-hating. Uh oh, oh, Anthony fucking whatever his name is. Oh my God, Anthony Brian Logan, this fucker. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the fucking, the fucking coterie is, has been real. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. And if you don't know what I mean. Okay. So here's this fucker's channel. Oh, wait. All right. All right. I fucking hate that he shares one of my names. Um, anyway, um, here, let's do, um, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Oh, all right. This fucker. This fucker right here. This fucker right now. Oh God, he sucks so much conservative. Metaphorical penis is unbelievable. Oh God, oh God. And of course he does the bullshit. Oh God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to come at this, I'm gonna have to come at this uh, motherfucker. I'm gonna have to come at this motherfucker's head. I already did a video about him, but we gonna have to come at this motherfucker's head. All right, let's go. Uh oh, all right, this is gonna be fun. I picked a good Jubilee video tonight. All right, let's go. Uh, we, we, we hate our mom, we hate our dad, we don't know history. We're out of touch, is that we don't have any real world experiences. We don't really <laughs> know what we're doing. What is a misconception black conservative people have about you? Probably that I have no moral character. I believe in chaos and anarchy. You don't. No, I believe in I believe in the rule of law. I literally cannot comprehend the notion of anyone being American and black and having conservative views. When you're online behind the screen, behind the black mirror, you can say pretty much whatever you want, do whatever you want, but when you're right here, you gotta be a little bit more human. 
Oh god. Oh my god. This is gonna be fucking awesome. This is gonna be fucking awesome. I know I'm gonna fucking trip motherfucking balls on this shit. I'm gonna trip balls on this shit. And I I mm. Okay. I'm gonna trip balls on this shit. This is probably not a stream that I should have probably did. Oh god. Okay, 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 let's go. My name is uh, Kevin Martin. Uh, I'm a business consultant. I was born and raised in Pennsylvania, uh, born into and raised in a conservative household, and I'm still conservative. My name is Xavier. Uh, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles. Oh, he's a, he's a, he was born and raised in a conservative household. He's a business consultant now. Fuck. Oh, okay. I can't keep calling him that. I, I don't know Twitch. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm liberal. Hi, I'm Elisa. I'm definitely as far left as one can walk. I'm Anthony Logan. I'm from Virginia originally. Grew up in a socially conservative household, but very politically liberal. I'm conservative now, and I'm looking forward to hearing all you guys' point of view. My name. Why is he so angry, man? Why is he so angry? I'm, I, I grew up in a fucking conservative, uh, in a, a fucking conservative household, and now I want to hear you guys' points of view, dude. Why don't you suck a motherfucking dick with all of your round dome shaped head ass? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I hate this motherfucker. I hate this motherfucker. Not because, oh yeah, no, he's like, no, like, he literally has dumb fuck takes. And people think that these motherfuckers make a point because, oh yeah, they're black people that see the conservative way. Like, no, motherfucker, you are some of the most, oh God, I can't even say that, tap dancing motherfuckers that would do a motherfucking minstrel show in a minute if it means that you can look up to <sighs> look up to oh please mr sir mr sir master sir can i please can i please can i please seem like better than all the rest of those other ones fuck out of here lady cage Barele. i am a conservative republican all right can i get my black liberals on the left and my black conservatives on the right say that again Liberals on the left, conservatives to the right. Okay. Like, look into that shit. Like, she is so happy that conservatives go to the right and liberals go to the left. Like, how much of a fucking clown are you? Like, oh, you a fucking clown. How much of a fucking clown are you that you literally say that shit? I, wow, okay. Okay, okay. Clown. If you agree with the prompt, you'll walk forward. If not, you'll stay back. People need to get over slavery. Fuck. Do they have fucking... Yeah, I, I have some Coptics. I'm trying to actually go over into more cop, um, um, Copics, uh, Copics than uh, what I have now. But literally, look at this motherfucker's face. He's like, what the fuck? I, 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 he's looking like, what the fuck? The, he looking like, damn, like these motherfuckers really. <laughs> they are looking like, man, they, these motherfuckers really believe this shit. All right, so I guess I started off. I mean, <laughs> we all know that slavery was a terrible thing. Yes. It was an atrocity. Right. It was a human tragedy. But yes. we can't just be talking about slavery every day. It ended in 1865. This is Motherfucker, slavery ended with black people being to stop being a second class citizen legally in 19 fucking 60. You dumb fuck. Your old ass was around for that. And if, if, if your old ass wasn't, your fucking mama was. Like, wow. What? Wow. Wow. Yo, you, you had time in the silk in your office. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Damn. But no. Literally. Segregation. Second class citizens for black, brown, any other per people didn't end until 1960 fucking four. My mother was alive in that time. But let's go. Since 2020, mm -hmm. we got to press forward. Our ancestors, they went through a lot. They died for us to be able to be here right now. Yes. And the best country on planet Earth. Yes. Take advantage of what we have right now, right. rather than looking in the past and saying, oh, well, what was me because of slavery? Right. You know, there have been other groups of people in slavery all throughout the world. They can't just stay in that state. 
Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, I... The... Do they not get that, um... In other countries, when slave... When people who were enslaved fucking revolted and killed their masters, they killed their masters? Like, like... No, 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 no shot. No, no bullshit. But one of the reasons why um, Reconstruction was a big motherfucking thing because of, I don't know, the Haitian rebellion of them like, oh, we free. Let's go kill the people who made us slaves. That's why we had such a fucked up time with Reconstruction, with the way um, white people in the country treated black people up until the 1960s. Like, that's why. Because other people killed the motherfuckers. And I'm not saying that that's right. But, like, dude, like, like you have to recognize that shit. But let, let's go. Let's go. So people, a lot of times, they stay right in their place and others are being able to pass them because mentally they've moved on while others have not. They constantly use slavery to put them in a victim mentality. We can't accomplish this because you enslaved my ancestors. Slaves were taught English. Slaves were taught how to become managers and secretaries and cooks and- No, they weren't! Oh my fucking God, they weren't! It was still illegal to teach people how to read even after they were freed. They were taught how to be cooks and servants because that's the only role that certain people felt that they should actually be. Wow. Okay. Okay. Mm. This chick is fucking stupid. No, of course. Of course. Those filthy fucking savages, even though you find that, you know, the Maui Empire was one of the most richest empires in the fucking world. The, even though you actually see written languages from all over Africa. Even though you see that, you know, like, 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 let's, let's, let's be fucking real. You had several different, um, sub-African and Mediterranean African kingdoms that actually had power over the world. Egyptians? The fucking Carthaginians, the fucking Maui Empire. Like, what? Okay. Uh, yeah, no, of course, of course, reasons, because reasons. Okay, let's go. And um, chauffeurs and uh, how to build water tanks and all sorts of things. We, we're here now. That's like saying, oh my God. So you know that there was an actual, uh, shout out Salona Box for actually making this video. Do you know that there was people that was actually saying that Africans didn't have the will um, in certain places until white people came? And then what happened was white people tried to use the will in those areas and they realized, oh shit, the will doesn't work for this area, so let's still use animal power. I just like, I, yeah, white people can make anything amazing, but if you know, people of color do it. Oh, aliens. Aliens. The pyramids in Mexico, aliens. The motherfucking pyramids in Giza, aliens. Um, um, lost civilizations and fucking the um, Indian sub subcontinent, continent, um, the fucking um, Polynesian islands. No, aliens. Because reasons. Never mind. You go and look at shit in Greek. Oh, no, they built that. Oh, no, you look at shit in Rome. Oh, no, they built that. But if it's anywhere that's not exactly Eurocentric, Eurocentric oh, no, aliens. Aliens. It was so fucked up in some places where white people went. And, and again, I'm not trying to down white people. That they literally thought they can bribe the emperor of china when they actually came to with trinkets that they had already invented like shit that they had invented for thousands of years but but because reasons get the fuck out of here 
Yeah, of course. Have you thought aliens? Let's go. Yo, okay. <laughs> All right. I really think, honestly, uh, colonialism didn't teach us anything because we came from a society that was living and running. So I don't even need to get old. <laughs> like, he came in and was like, yo, 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 um, we need to pull this shit back and stop and, and stop. We need to stop. First, we need to stop. We need to stop. Oh, God. Let's go. <laughs> the Emperor of China was like, yeah, y'all could be like one of you. You could be like one of my colonists if you pay me tribute. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Over slavery. I think we need to talk about the repercussions of it, like generational trauma, like the system that exists because of it. I don't think we should use it as a crutch. To, there you go. As for ambivalence, for ambivalence or yeah, to hold yourself back. You know what I mean? I think it is a mindset as well. I think one of the most dangerous aspects of generational advancement is misinformation. I think a lot of young people, especially young men, especially young African-American men and women, often have questions about why things are the way they are. Why do I get treated this way? Um, because the police were a racist organization that was formed by slave catchers. Um, especially fuck, fuck, like the people in LA, the LAPD was started by, and Joe knows this because he would tell us this shit all the time. The people in, um, uh, fucking LA who start forming the LA, um, police, um, the police officers in LA were literally slave catchers and they're like, come, come over here. We, we need your help. We need your help. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about fucked up ass history. But let's go. Why has my mother gone through this? Or why does my grand has my grandmother gone through this? Well, it all comes down to the repercussions of slavery. And so I think that just getting over something, I think is just absolutely ridiculous. And so when I hear people say that, especially my fellow African-American people and friends, I think it's ridiculous. Just getting over something as serious as that, um, I think just plays into the whole idea of it just didn't matter anyway. Oh shit, and that's coming from a conservative. That's literally coming from a conservative. And of course, he doesn't have a social media presence where he's not trying to push shit. And so he can be a little bit more honest versus these two motherfuckers uh -huh. clowns um, than what they're trying to fucking do. But let's go, let's go. So how long do we continue to harp <laughs> on it? How long do we continue, forever? Well, now, do, we, do we never get over? I think you mean educate. Well, educate is education is fine. I think no history is one thing to not get over a thing. You, something else. you can't minimize you can't get slavery. Get Who says that, though? But I listened to both of you, mm -hmm. and I even thought maybe I'll stay out of this one. No. But the notion of ending the discussions on slavery, they haven't begun. We just got the lynching memorial in Alabama. We just got the African American Smithsonian in DC. You cannot go to Germany and walk more than a mile without seeing some sort of tribute to the Holocaust, some sort of apology, some sort of marker. The United States does not acknowledge slavery in that way. We exactly, fucking exactly. This is a shit that, we okay, okay. Okay, oh my God, oh my God. Exactly, like, if you go to Germany, they'll be like, nah, we fucked up. Germany even says, you know what? Since the state of Israel is created, let's get you some BMW public transportation shit to make your shit better. Like Germany like was like, yeah, we fucked up. We really fucked up. But fuckers like this, like, no, 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 no. Master didn't know nothing wrong. They remind me of Snowball from fucking Django and Change. Yes, I called his ass Snowball. Cause I forget what that motherfucking that Samuel L. Jackson played. But yeah, they remind me of Snowball from Django and Jane. But let's go. We are beginning to discuss, but we can't get over it until white folks acknowledge it. Being black should not influence a political view. Wow, she's ready to jump. Like she doesn't give a fuck. I swear to God, this chick act like she got some motherfucking issues. Like she want to just be like, ah, fight, fight, fight. Like the fuck? All right. <laughs> Yeah, there are three conservatives and two liberals. So, of course not. yeah, being black should not really influence how you think politically, because what's good for us as black folks should be the same as everybody else. It should be from the point of view of me being an American and wanting the best for me in America. 
Now, there is some truth to what he's saying. Because here's the thing. What's good for black people is good for everybody. What's good for black people, what I see is good for black people, I think Medicare for All is good for black people. With the mental health component to actually help people deal with a lot of trauma that they've actually dealt with. What's good for black people is, you know, I don't know, getting rid of the fucking drug war and cleaning people's records. That'd be really great for black people. That'd be really great for a lot of other people. Uh, what's good for black people? A fucking UBI. But that fucker, this fucker right here, this fucker right here would not, would not actually want to do that because bootstraps fuck out of here dude but let's go so of course not. yeah being black should not really influence how you think politically because what's good for us as black folks should be the same as everybody else it should be from the point of view of me being an american and wanting the best for me in america i will vote for the best person um that is running and so far it's been, in my situation, it's been Republicans, conservative Republicans. I vote based on the issues that I care about and the issues that I care about stem from my personal experiences. As someone that was um, raised in a conservative household, I have different views on certain things. I have different views um, on pro-life and- Brainwash, uh -uh -uh. excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Brainwash, uh -uh. indoctrinated, uh -uh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Whew. okay pro-choice issues. I have different views on e economic issues. I have different views on, on trade and foreign policy. I don't think the skin color. What are the views? What are you, what are your views dog? What, what are your views? Say them, say your views, say your motherfucking views. And again, notice they got two and a half strong conservatives and some, eh, okay. Liberal type motherfuckers. I'm just saying, I, I, okay. Okay. Let's go. Should have anything to do with a political view. I would say I definitely don't vote for candidates just because they're black. Ben Carson we're could never get my vote. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> However, <laughs> okay, it's like, well, fuck Ben Carson. Fuck Ben Carson's. Fuck Herman Cain. I know, I know. He said, he said. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. No, it always comes back to anti-Semitism. Yeah, of course. I do feel very much a part of a group. I feel like I have a shared history with black people and descendants of slaves in this country. And so I do not vote just based on what's okay for me. Um, I think people should vote for what's in the best interest um, of them. And I don't think that skin color should dictate on what your interest should be based on skin color. Did you ever vote? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, cool. I, I will give you that. Definitely cool. And I, I, I am somebody who believes that. Um, but what was the percentage of white evangelicals that voted for Trump? Can, can, does somebody have that number in chat? I, I know I can look it up. I, I, I know it was 92%. I'm just asking, can somebody look up the percentage of white evangelicals for Trump? I'm just, I'm just saying, was it 87% or, or was it 92? I forget. I, I just, All right, let's go. What's your religious belief? Yes. Um, on abortion? Oh. Have I ever voted my religious beliefs on abortion? Yes. Yeah, I have. And what's your religious belief on, on abortion? We're not even talking about abortion. It's nothing to do with this conversation. Oh, it's black. <laughs> Wait, why, why did she go all the way there? She went all the way there like, well, abortion? But it's abortion is about black. Like, no, no, we're not talking about abortion. Why the fuck? What the fuck does abortion have to do with anything? Okay, okay, uh, okay. I know he realized, now he's realizing, this bitch crazy. This bitch is crazy. I know he's realizing that shit. Okay, okay. We have nothing to do with this conversation. The majority of abortions are done to the black race. Well, I'm so, gonna ask you. you should. He <laughs> looking like, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> and no, no, it's not. No, it's not, you dumb fuck. No, it's not. No, no, no. Oh my God. She is literally, he had to look like.
I wonder if after this video, he reevaluated. It's like, wait, is this how dumb conservatives sound? This is how dumb I sound? Oh my God, am I the bad guy? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> okay, yeah. You said Be interested you, in answering that question. Really quick, I want to ask you, because you said you wanted to leave slavery behind. You wanted yeah. to get over it. But I, you, didn't say, I didn't say forget it. No. You said to get over it. I'm saying get, get over, over it. it. Let's not forget it. You're a Christian? And I still say teach it. You're a Christian? Yes, I am. And where'd you, where do you think we got that? <laughs> He's trying to be intellectual with this chick. You cannot be intellectual with these dumb fucks. You know what you do? You fucking grind their ass mentally into the fucking ground. You literally grind their shit into the ground. You make them pay and suffer for every fucking syllable of stupidity that they have. That what? Christianity. Uh, Christianity goes all the way back to the beginning of time. So where did we learn it, though? Where did we learn it? Um, well, the Christianity does not go back to the end of Hey, Joe, does Christianity go back to the beginning of time? I'm just saying, I have somebody in my chat that will tell you that Christianity does not go back to the beginning of time. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God. Like, oh, like for real. She really went there, man. She really fucking went there. All right, let's go. The Egyptians had religions, the Jewish taught no, religions. No, where did we do, where did I mean, the African America. diaspora? Okay. In America. You, you, your lineage, yeah. Um, slavery, right? They learned it from slavery. slavery they, right. Slaves also brought we religion with it, them right. when they came, so it was a mixture of everybody's religion. Oh, but. <laughs> she had to go all the way back to say, like, yeah, slaves had religion when they brought them with. Like, it's a mixture of everybody's religion. No, Christianity wasn't. Now, Voodooism, Voodooism is actually a mix, mixture of uh, fucking African um, poly, polytheism and Christianity. And it's not just the old zombie type bullshit. No, it actually is a religion that's, that has that mixture in some circles. But like this shit, like, oh God, oh God, fuck. This is what I'm talking about. Fucking conservatives are so fucking up their own ass. They don't realize the stupid shit that they say. But let's continue. They learned how to read. So what they what they learned how to read was the Holy Bible. Oh, and that. either like, no, we learned how to read English. English. We had a written language before the uh, we had a real language before our people were ripped from Africa. Again, the Maui Empire. If you don't know what the Maui Empire is, just take a look at that. Go look into the Maui Empire. It literally was the richest fucking empire in the world. The the fucking one of the fucking emperors will make Jeff Bezos look like a fucking pauper. But let's go. Are you gonna believe the Holy we Bible? Are you not? We knew how to read. I believe you know how to read. Read uh, what? Uh, Arabic? Uh, what? Because it wasn't English. English is not the fucking ultimate language. Did she just throw Arabic under the fucking bus? Oh my god. <laughs> what did you know how to read? Arabic? The fuck? What the fuck? Oh. We wasn't English. That's why I have my King James Bible. The King James Bible is the best motherfucking Bible. Okay, 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 Grandma. That's my saying. I'm winning America now. Everybody should speak English. Whoa. <laughs> is, is, that, is, that, is that a hot take? Damn, you gotta speak English hey, in, you, in America? I support the Black Lives Matter movement. And see, that's what I mean by it's like two strong conservatives and two and a half strong conservatives because dude is let's be let's be face it he's kind of a liberal like some of these people are one of these guys like the guy is more of a, a little bit of a 
uh, of a sock them and the chick may be a fucking um or maybe a fucking um maybe a fucking leftist but th this guy whoever the fuck his name is is more of a liberal well, I am a public defender for 17 years. I work in the criminal justice system. I see Ooh. a lot of the behind the scenes when it comes to police brutality. So I'm a strong Black Lives Matter supporter. I uh, grew up in Compton. Uh, my parents were born and raised there. Uh, and see, that's what I mean. She, she, she's, a, she's in the system, but she's a fucking leftist. But the, okay, let's go, let's go. Even as a child, when they had the uh, riots for Rodney King, we had to move to uh, Hampton. Yeah, it was something that it was the first time I knew that it was wrong, the way the police, how they, how they police the towns. It was the first time I got a sense of. Uh, Wait, did they really have to really put down what the '92 riots were? I feel old. I fucking feel old. I was ten when that shit happened. I was literally ten when that shit happened. I, and for motherfuckers who, like, okay, so the reason why I hate Stephen Destiny Benelli, the third, whatever, fuck, second, whatever, because he makes light of that shit. He's like, oh yeah, you know, the people in Koreatown got up on right on roof types of rifles and shit like that. He doesn't really. He wasn't aware because he's like, what? 32 I had two, <laughs> two crazy women like that in the red <laughs> oh yeah I believe you I fucking believe you they are the most conservative things that you can actually be but they are the one of the supposedly most liberal states fuck out of here like dude like go live in Alabama if you're gonna be that fucking crazy Go live in Alabama. Go go ahead and march with the people that don't think you fucking human. You a child of God, but don't think you human. Go ahead. Go live among those motherfuckers and see how well you do. Justice. I'm just interested, since you identify as conservative, I was surprised to see you come over and how that lines up with your political views or maybe just what your definition of conservative is. Since the movement started, I've been torn for far too long. We've had uh, the police, police on the right, and we've had uh, Black Lives, the, the African American community, and the Black community on the left, and it's just constantly, it's just constant fighting. Uh, and so I support the movement. Um, I support the agenda. I support the mission. I just have not always supported the way that that mission uh, agenda was being carried out. Okay, and that's fair. That's fair. Um, there are some things that people aren't happy with Black Lives Matter for, and you know. With any fucking charity, you have those issues. And if you want to, or any political action group, you have those issues, except for like Republicans. They'll let they shit like do whatever they want because they're supposed to be leads and in charge. So they'll let their, their PACs and their committees do whatever the fuck they want because, you know, reasons. But let, let's go, let's go. I agree right. with the fact that black lives do matter. I yes. think we all agree on that. That's yes. something that nobody's going to deny. <laughs> but it's the tactics. I, yes. I don't like the tactics. I mean, I saw it in 2015, the Freddie Gray situation. Uh, also with Michael Brown and Ferguson, Missouri. Mm -hmm. You're burning neighborhoods down. You're right. tearing things apart. I have people who will say, well, the percentage of blacks that are being killed is high. And I said, where did you get that from? Well, we see it on TV all the time. But the ones who are not shown on television is in a much higher bracket of being shot quicker than a black man would and so wait I, I i i know the argument that she's trying to make and it's fucking stupid i i i know the argument she's saying that but more white people get shot than black people no shit there are more white people in the fucking country you dumb fuck like the, that's a thing but when you're talking about proportionality Remember we did that video, remember I did that video called Shots Fired, where it was like 2% of the population in Utah or some shit like that were, 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 were black, but they attributed for like 50% of the people that were shot at by the police. Like, yeah, because fucking police are racist. 
And oh no, not every police is racist. No, it's a systemic thing. It is a systemic thing. And these people can't fucking understand it because, well, no police has did that to me except for that one time, but I must have did something that deserved it. Like Carlton in that episode of fucking Fresh Prince of Bel Air, where he's like, Well, I was just driving too slow and the cops pulled me over. No, you were black driving a fucking Bentley. No, I was just driving too slow. No, no, oh, okay, okay, let, let's go. And that's shown with FBI statistics. Black Lives Matter as an organization is about peaceful protest and is about bringing awareness. There's no Black Lives Matter organizer who's ever looted a CVS. There's no Black Lives Matter organizer who has ever advocated for violence. So in terms of saying, look, I see somebody black on the TV who is upset about the murder of a young black male, that's not the same as saying Black Lives Matter is therefore responsible. Likewise, I'm not sure which FBI statistics, but African-American men are definitely the most killed by police. It's a very specific statistic. Police aren't killing white folks like that. We can't just leave it there and say, well, we're being killed more, therefore it's a problem with race. Oh, what? oh, oh my God. He's about to do, they were no angels. I, he's about to do, they were no angels. Oh my God. He's about to do, he's literally about to do, they were no angels. Fuck. This shit fucking kills me. Because he's about to do they were no angels type shit. I, I, oh God. Why are we being killed more by the police? Is there a Because we're over-policed. What does that mean? There's more police in our community. What does that mean? It means that the ratio, the number of police at any given time where I live, I'm going to see police officers every hour. I'm going to see patrol vehicles in a way that I don't see when I'm in predominantly white neighborhoods. Statistically, and this is actually my line of research, Black youth are seen as four to five years older. We're seen as scary, we're seen as intimidating. So that's why you see situations like Tamir Rice. You see police reacting quickly with lethal force he had a, because- he had a gun. like it was real though. No, it didn't, you dumb fuck. And oh my God, it didn't. No, it did not look like it was a gun. It did not. Oh, okay, okay. But they didn't even know. Here's the thing. They shot this motherfucker. They shot this little kid within 12 fucking seconds. One cop didn't even wait for the car to stop before they shot a 12 year old kid. But let, let's go. You know, he was, but there was no one there. Let's say he had a real gun. Why couldn't the police say stop? He was killed in less than 15 seconds. A 12 year old boy he was pointing at with a BB people. gun. No, well, he was like not. A, like when I had a BB gun when I was that age and it looked real too. And you know, my parents told me, do not go outside with that. And I'm in the all black area. Do not go outside with that and point it at people because it looked real. And why do you think they did, why do you think they did that? Again, he was no angel. A 12 year old. They got shot by the cops for no fucking reason. Oh, he was no angel because he took a toy gun outside. When you have motherfuckers that are in rallies walking around with fucking AR 17s on their back, whatever the fuck it's called. If you thought he was an adult, then you can at least approach him like an adult. But no, these motherfuckers didn't they approach a black man like a like a like a man. Approach a black adult like like they're an adult that they have the right to do something. The fuck out of here! No, we gun their ass down because reasons, and those reasons are racism. Hopefully, because they recognize that as a black boy, you're going to be targeted. We could do a whole podcast on that one right there. I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to go in. Barack Obama did good things for black Americans. All right, so I'm torn on this one because no, he didn't. And he didn't do good things for most Americans. Let's, let's fucking be honest. Um, um, he escalated drone warfare um, and he, you know, put people out there. He was the deporter in chief. And um, I... No, no. Rich, if you was rich, oh yeah, he did some she did some shit for you. And like, yeah, no, of course. And like he let Trump be motherfucker. Uh, ah! Fuck! Alright, let's go. Obama didn't do much for black Americans or for Americans in general. But what he did do was one very important thing that I gotta give him credit for. And that was to say that you can be black and be the president of the United States. 
this whole excuse of, well, I can't do anything because I'm black and slavery. Uh-uh, I'm not trying to hear it no more. You had the first black president, the black wife, the black kids, all that good stuff for two terms. Not once, it wasn't a fluke, two terms. Wait, but like, that, that's not what that means, dog. Like, wait, wait, if you want to really see balance, if you really want to see balance, you, you would have seen like, you know, 41 more other black presidents and then you would have seen i don't know some hispanic presidents maybe seen some asian presidents if you want to talk about balance and like oh okay oh okay okay shit fuck i'm making too much sense now Let, let's go obama has done more damage to the african-american race than any of the other presidents I didn't freeze. That just that just broke me. What about President Pierce? I, I, what about Woodrow Wilson? Wilson. What about Andrew Jackson? I I, I can name a number of people. Uh, okay, what? Le let's see if she, let's see if she explains what Obama did wrong that, that was more harmful to black people than anything. Will she explain? Let, let's go. He he came into the presidency lying. He lied to our faces to get elected. Then wait, what did he lie about besides the competency that he can actually do and like you know wanted to have an expanded healthcare system? I. I'm sorry. What did he lie about? Okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm being an asshole. Let's go. Once in, he disavowed. He just forgot about the blacks. First of all, all of us. Obama didn't do anything but an abomination to us, to this whole nation. Yo, I. <laughs> How? 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 Wait. I. I, how, how did, I, oh my God, what did he do that was just, like, he set a high lofty expectation, he got people believing that he was all hope and change, but he was more like, um, could, um, being motherfucking um just being content and like and stagnant like the fuck <laughs> yeah this is two years ago this so this is before they kind of made it a little bit better but yeah no oh god Let, let's go <laughs> i mean I, I agree with what you said you know he did a lot of damage and the, the main thing that i remember from his term was when he had black lives matter in the white house while Whoa. ferguson was happening while it was happening hey you guys are doing a great job out there Whoa. Now, mind you, mind you, mind you, this is in 2020. This is after Trump said that there are good people on both sides in fucking Charlottesville. I, I, this is after Trump had somebody who was willing to kidnap foreign, um, uh, foreign, um, um, uh, dissidents. This is after you know, Trump literally, wait, 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 when is this, when is this, uh, let me stop, let me stop, okay, okay, so he didn't know that Trump was trying to call President Zelensky to try to get Joe, dirt on Joe Biden, like, no, he didn't know that, he didn't know that, because it, it had happened at that time, I, I, This was right in the midst. And you know what? They probably had filmed this before it came out. This was, oh no, COVID isn't that bad. You know, it's nothing. It's 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 not even going to happen. Even though he was directly lying at the time, he knew it was that bad and he knew it was going to fuck us over. But no, it's nothing. All because lying wants to go up. Oh, let's go. 
Oh. You guys are doing fantastic. Did say, hey, some down the rhetoric a little bit maybe because you got some problems. Nope, you guys are doing a great job. Keep on going. So Obama was a representation of something important, but also I think the whole thing is a big puppet show. Mm. And you know, I wasn't really Amen, sure. Amen, brother. I was, I'm, not, I'm never really sure what's going on behind the scenes, so we don't know what kind of deals are being made. Mm -hmm. I do think that there was people that benefited from some policies uh, that Obama put in place. And I also believe that- Did she just say homosexuals? Oh shit, this chick. Oh my God, the bigotry is strong with this motherfucker. Oh wow. And see, like, she actually make, make me break my rule. If you notice guys, I try not real hard, try not to call women bitches because they're females and I just don't like their opinion. But that was a bitch move. That was a I'm gonna just I'm gonna just dog people out because of the reasons. And that's why I really like to use the word bitch, because they complain and they whine about shit and then they are bullies at the same time. But she's gonna make me break that rule because I like wow, okay, let's go. That there were um, people that uh, did not benefit. And so I think that there are obviously good things about the Obama presidency and there's things that I disagree with with the Obama presidency. Like every year. We gotta educate you, young brother. <laughs> educate me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's looking like, motherfucker, you didn't know what slavery was. You didn't know we had written language before slavery. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about? When she say educate, she means indoctrinate. And the stream goes. But let's go. Did you go to college? Yes. Where'd you go? Southern University in Pepperdine. What'd you study? Political science, civil enforcement, social studies. I mean, what well, social studies did I teach in? Social science, masters. It shows. The black community. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He's like, it shows. Oh, shit. Like, she taught me think that she was a compliment. She probably think that was a compliment. Oh, my God. Oh my God, she probably thinks that was a compliment. Oh, wow, wow. Let's go. Should accept LGBTQ plus rights. I am not only a philosophical conservative, um, but I'm also a religious conservative. And I believe that God made everyone in his image. And I also believe that we as Christians aren't people to judge. And so who are we or who is anyone to deny someone their rights um, as a person based off of what their sexual orientation is or how they identify or the lifestyle that they choose to live? Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. Those motherfuckers. She go come in and was like, the gays are for the devil. The hell with them. You know, I'm a part of the LGBT community. I'm transgender, so I was born female. Now I'm male and male. Oh God! Um, yeah, it was. Uh, it oh God! Oh God! She's gonna come in there with a cross. She's gonna come in. There. I rebuke you, Satan! I rebuke you! Oh God! Okay, okay. Fuck. Interesting road, even getting my family to understand. You know, who I was at times. So. I think it was like they didn't want me, for lack of better terms, uh, to have another cross to bear, which was what they felt like it was another uh, burden or condition that would make me less than. But really, intrinsically, like we're all worthy. Okay, human rights is one thing. Sexual rights is a whole nother thing. Wait, 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 wait. Did she say human rights are one thing and sexual rights are another? I can somebody help her out with that? Okay, okay, okay. They're 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 the same thing. They're, they're the same thing, woman. They're the fucking same thing. <sighs> All right. Unless you think people that are um 
part of the LGBTQ community aren't human, which I would have to say, you bigoted fucking monster. But yeah, okay, let's go. The majority of the black community are religious. When it goes against their beliefs, yeah, no, it shouldn't happen. And gluttony is part of the human race. People Wait, what is that? What? What does gluttony have to do with any fucking thing? I'm sorry. I'm so confused. What does gluttony have to do with sexual rights? I mean, like, I know some people that can eat, definitely eat some coochie. I'm fucking one of them. But, like, the f People oh, okay. glutton too much. And the LBDBT, XYZ, whatever, they're gluttony. All right, now. How much more of this video do I have to take? Oh, my God. Oh my god! Oh god! Fuck! This woman is dumb as fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This woman is dumb! This woman is so fucking dumb! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay! Okay! My, my viewpoint on the thing about uh, LGBT rights, what are we talking about exactly? I want to be very specific with this particular thing because when I hear that, I'm thinking about Dwayne Wade's son. He's 12 years old. Do you think a 12 year old boy should be able to call himself transgender? Is that no. what we're going to do? Yes. Y yes. Y y yes. Y yes. Uh, like. Okay, you get to grow up to be a motherfucking idiot ass conservative on the fucking YouTube. Okay, so what? Just because you were assigned male at birth don't mean that you have to grow up to become a man. the way people see you is a fucking social contract and because we have clothes on because we have clothes on you can't tell if i have a peen or a vjj you can't tell unless i let you know so why the fuck would you even care why why the fuck do you care you don't know if i have a peen or a vjj you don't why do you care because it's simple for you grow the fuck up a five-year-old can tell if somebody is more presenting male or female oh my god oh my god okay do do we think that we should have four and five-year-old children on puberty blockers hormone blockers because oh oh what okay 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 Besides the Herculean effort of moving the goalposts so far away, at four and five year olds, you don't get hormone blockers, you dumb fuck! It's puberty blockers! You have to be in puberty to have that shit! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. And if you think conservatives don't don't really like if if you think conservatives say that children going through puberty aren't aren't children they they no they have the right to make decisions about life and shit like that then ask them why they won't get rid of underage marriage because oh they they can make lifelong decisions when it comes to underage marriage. But when it comes to puberty blocker, no, 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 no. That's that's too much. That's too much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, that, that's the fucked up part about it is Republicans don't give a fuck when it comes to things that would actually affect the kid at 12 and 13 and 14 when it comes to fucking underage marriage but when it comes to choosing their identity no you have to be what we tell you to be oh. 
Oh God. Oh God. I, I, I'm prepared. I got fucking halls to clean my motherfucking nose. Cause this, even though I'm almost finished with this video and I'm almost finished with the stream today. Fuck. This is this shit. This shit right here. This shit right here. God, let's go. They think at that age, they're transgender. You can't even get a tattoo under the age of 18. You can't smoke cigarettes, you can't drink beer. If somebody wants to be gay, trans, whatever, as an adult, that's fine. My, my uncle, my favorite uncle, mm -hmm. died of AIDS, was gay. That was my dog, 100%. Why did he just have to throw in somebody who's gay and link it with AIDS? I, I, I don't. What? Just because you're gay doesn't mean that you end up with AIDS. I, I, oh, okay. If you're gay, that's your business. I don't care. That's you. That's not me. That's you. We're talking about LGBT rights. What do we mean? I mean, I think it's the right to exist. Dwayne Wade's daughter knows exactly who she is. And she's 12. And she doesn't. Right. And, and there's definitely research that says that, you know, anybody under 25 years old, that your brain is not fully formed. The thing is, I knew when I was small, right? As soon as I could talk, I was pretty much telling my parents, like, these were the things that I was... Oh, here, we have somebody that's transgender right here that can tell these fucks how fucking stupid they're being. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's go was feeling and what I knew about myself you know when you start to self-actualize you start that at that age you start at the early ages so if you look at like psychosomatics of children they start to voice and self-actualize in toddler stages we're just saying opening it up if they're voicing themselves okay you're voicing yourself and as a parent I just give you a platform to flourish and bloom as you do and then when you're an adult if that's the decision the parent wants to make you can do what you want sure that's the decision oh, my parents said did you kind of say what he said so you kind of like on the same page with me. Like That's, somebody... this, this is what my parents did. You do what you want when you're out of the house. But the thing is, if I had the re if my parents had the resources and the education that they do now, they would have probably allowed me to uh, they would have offered me a decision that would have helped me, you know, live my life. But you can't say that because it didn't happen. It didn't. But it could. Wait, 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 wait. Can I say that? Um... You know, Yeshua wasn't a real person, and you can't say what would Jesus do because Yeshua was, wasn't a real person, and it didn't happen. I I can say that. I okay. I, wow. Okay. Okay. All right. And like like no no fucking no fucking no fucking. The reason why we can blame the AIDS crisis for conservatives like this. Because fucking Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Because he attributed that shit to be immoral. So, fuck you, Ronald Reagan. Because you contributed to so many people dying from a disease that literally now, one, found out that people have immunity from the shit. Two, we have treatment where people, it's not a death sentence. And this is shit that we could have started that research on years ahead of time. Because when they start doing this shit years after, like, in the, in the late 90s, they say, oh, this is a disease that can be managed. Oh, in some cases, this is a disease that can be cured. Oh, in some cases, this particular disease can actually help treat certain kinds of cancers. But all because, oh, the, the, the gays get that disease, so it must be a problem with them. That's one thing that I can say is good about motherfucking Forrest Gump. It let people know that you didn't have to be gay to get AIDS or HIV. But let's go. Yeah, no, like, and the thing about it is it, it was the stigma associated with it that didn't need to happen.
but and I know people who still stuck in the oh if you gay you you get AIDS type bullshit. No, and, and like that's one of the most disheartening to say shit to tell people. Like I remember when I was first dating my ex, and um, we she had got close to the family and shit like that, and um, she went with my grandmother, who had emphysema and because she smoked, and the doctor says you got an expiration date. That's known. Like, we all have expiration dates. But the doctor says, you have an expiration date that's known. And to hear that shit, like, we all know we're going to die. Nobody makes it off of this planet alive. We all going to die. But to somebody say, you got a year? I, that shit is tough. But let's go. They can now because we have There's those resources now. We have those resources now. You think there would have been, a, yeah, yeah. If they had the resources that they have now, definitely. All you got to do is listen. You just listen. I have felt excluded from the black community. Oh. See my hand? Yeah. Fuck. I, 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 I have been told by people, and this is the funny part about it. Not because I'm conservative, but because I am so far of a leftist. But that's okay. That's why you will never actually see me questioning somebody's blackness. Whether they're conservative, whether they're leftist. I will never question somebody's blackness. I will question somebody's coonery. I wouldn't say they're not black, but I would say they, they tap dancing for a motherfucking audience. Because they are. Hello, gothics. But that's just coonery. But I will never question somebody's blackness. I don't have the right to question somebody's blackness, Hispanicness, Mexican whiteness. What the fuck ever. I have no right because how they live their life is how they choose to live their life. I don't have the rightness. I don't have the 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 the, the standing to question somebody's straightness, homosexualness, bisexualness, panness, asexualness. I don't have that right. I have the right to call them out when they doing fuck shit. Like I'm calling most of these motherfuckers out. But yeah, no, you shouldn't exclude somebody. Oh, you're not black because you don't do this. I literally do. I am literally doing anime art. Anime art. But I will never question somebody. Like, dude, like, like, can I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a secret? I like some rock and roll shit like queen is the shit here we are born to be kings we're the princesses of the you oh okay highlander but let's go probably the first aspect of being excluded from the black community is by the way i talk so i was adopted uh, to a caucasian family i was raised around in a completely different culture than what most African-American people are raised in or around. Or the black community is saying, look, you don't believe like us, you don't think like us, you don't vote like us, and so you're not one of us. I felt, I felt excluded as well, you know, with the queerness, uh, transness, uh, you know, when people get to know me and learn that, then they're just like, oh yeah, oh, mm, I can't be doing all that gay shit, blah, blah, Like, you hear a lot of different stuff, you know? Being yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you do hear, like, uh, yeah, uh, let's go. Being anything doesn't make you any less black. Just by being conservative, Friends that I had coming up in the black community, people that I know from just being out and around in Virginia, some of them kind of turn their back on you. Oh, you want to support, you want to support Trump. You hate black folks, all this, that, and the third. Now I feel like some of that's kind of going away because. Um, if you didn't vote for Joe Biden, you're not black. No, okay, 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 I had to say it. I had to say it. Oh God, oh God, okay, okay. First of all, um, if you support Trump, you don't support humanity, whether you white, black, whatever. If you voted for Trump, you don't support humanity. You support your own goddamn selfish interests. Oh, God, like, for real. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. 
a person like me being a black Trump supporter is less of a novelty at this particular point. Now it's kind of like a normal thing. Yeah. But we're not all the same. We know we're not a monolith. Everybody yeah. have their own. Their, exactly. We are our own people. Exactly. We're a diverse group of people. I mean, exactly. and I play hockey. So a lot of people are like, man, black people don't do that, man. Fuck not. Oh, fuck not. Oh. <laughs> oh. What are you talking about? Black people play hockey all the time. You live in the suburbs, you deal with this shit. Like, they play hockey all the time. Now, professional hockey, it's only been, like, two prominent black um, app, um, professional hockey players in the, NF in the NHL, I believe. But that's because people are self-selected to, I don't know, other sports. And it's not even a, a racism thing. It's about... Hey, I'm in this particular community, so we self-select for this particular sport. But that doesn't mean shit. Like, here's an idea. Black people can get on ice skates. I know, I know weird shit, right? Just like black people can actually do gymnastics and get in this thing called a pool. Now, the, the real reason why black people don't swim as much as it is other communities because we had shitty pools and we it like because of redlining and all the other good shit but that's not because black people just didn't do it it's because it was a socio-economic thing but yeah black people i've gotten my big ass on some ice on some ice skates didn't like it much but i i used to rollerblade guys i used to rollerblade but okay okay let's continue Man, we do come everything. on, man. Black people don't do that. I'm like, hey, man. Black people can't do that. We do it all. I've never been outside of or excluded from my race. I'm cool with everybody in my race, and I'm cool with everybody in other races. I uh, ran for political office. I've been a member of um, Park Mesa Height Neighborhood Council. You win? I did. Good. Yeah, I represented uh, Hyatt Park. I wanted to say something. Even though I have felt excluded before, black people in my life have been the most uh, welcoming, loving, giving people that I've witnessed, you know, regardless of, you know, my background as well. So there's been two ends of the spectrum for sure. The reason why I came here all the way from Pennsylvania to do this is to show the world. He is a Carlton! Oh my God! He's a Carlton! Oh my God! Oh my God! He's a Carlton! And like, like not to shit on Alfonso Ribeiro because like, how do you go from the cool kid in like Silver Spoons to Carlton and Fresh Prince? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Alfonso Ribeiro was in fucking Silver Spoons when he was younger. I know, right? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. That even that all of us, regardless of our skin color or the way we think politically, we are so diverse. We're so diverse. Just because I identify as a conservative doesn't mean I'm agree with you or agree with you. Just because you identify as a liberal doesn't mean you're going to disagree with me on everything. We found ourselves agreeing with a lot today. Common ground is that ah. word. It's called middle ground. Right, right, middle ground. Yeah. Well, that's it for today. Nice hey. meeting you all. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Wow, that was that was a headache and a half. That was a headache and a half. Whew. Shit. I I just don't know anymore. Wow, that was. Oh, wow. And by the way, the actual um, cough drop thing actually worked for some fucking reason. Wow, it, it, it actually worked. Um, I. Shit. I. I. If I've done this video in the past, I've probably forgot about how fucking crazy some of these people were. I. My brain is broken. So, um, like, let's, let's, let's just do this. Um, what do you guys think of the, the fucking. The art. Let's 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 just look at this. This is me working on it while I was um this is me working on it while we were streaming. So um yeah, what do you guys think of it? Um I think that I got the some coloring down. Um if you guys like it, I'm gonna try to finish this up. Um but um my brain hurts right now because um that shit right there 
that shit right there was uh, it was it was fucking painful all of them I, I wow okay okay wow wow okay mm. well thank you guys for actually watching this clip I'm gonna go cry to a pillow and you know probably go play with myself later um but yeah wow that that was wow the coonery is real fuck mm. oh wow yeah cut S send it off we're finished um yeah sure but anyway